So today for my hotel in the 13th district in Paris, this is Mark. And the reading is going to be about Thomas Markle. So a subscriber has asked, uh, Leo Bunny is a subscriber, has asked, what about Thomas Markle? So that's what the video will be about. If you like the video, I hope you do like the video. If you uh, haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. So it's very simple. Leo Bunny wants to know, Thomas Markle had a stroke, and she doesn't know what's going on, and wants to know what's going on with Thomas Markle. Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex's, uh, father. So that's what we'll do today. We'll talk about uh, uh, the throw some cards on him and see what they have to say. There won't be any research because I'm in a motel room uh, or a hotel room rather uh, in outside of Paris, not outside of Paris, but the 13th district of Paris. And here we go. So it's going to be uh, Thomas Markle and uh, viewer uh, Leo Bunny asks. So I thought I'd do this right here for my uh, hotel room. I'll be uh, here in Europe for a while. And so I thought I can't neglect you fellas, or you guys, all of you. And uh, so we have to do a video. So Thomas Markle, what is the deal with him? So he just had a stroke. You know, he's an interesting person. He had um, a very successful career as a, uh, I guess it's called a cinematographer. And uh, he uh, was uh, worked on many prominent uh, television shows was uh, awarded and nominated for Emmys uh, multiple times throughout his career. Even won uh, the California Lottery, um, I think in the late 90s, for around 650000 which was equivalent to over a million dollars today. And he burned through that and eventually filed for bankruptcy, if you can believe it. So successful career, good paying job, award winning, won um, lotteries. And um, what happened? So we'll do a quick meditation. I don't have my sign, so you'll have to find something you want to meditate on yourself. Okay. Thomas Markle. Thomas Markle. What's the deal with Thomas Markle. You may hear some street noise. I have the, the door a little bit open to give me uh, some light in the background there. And let's take uh, four cards right away. So we have one. You'll put this here. Two. Ah, I can't do it this way, can I? I'm a little confused because of uh, my strange location. Thomas Markle. Thomas Markle. What can the cards tell us in one draw? about Thomas Markle. Six cards to begin with. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Thomas Markle. Okay. So the signifier card for Thomas Markle is the King of Wands. So the Wands are actions, plans, forward movement, and uh, the King is, you know, in charge of those plans. So he's going to, uh, he's someone who's, who is uh, traditionally uh, made a plan, stuck through it, and uh, been the King of that. Now, you know, because you've made a plan doesn't mean you made a good plan, but uh, he has a natural talent, I presume. <clears throat> the challenge to that is the Knight of Pentacles. So the problem with the Knight of Pentacles is a challenge. Pentacles are value, okay? And, and the Knight is going to fight for his value. So even though Thomas Markle has a plan, his fight uh, for his value is uh, probably been both a blessing and a curse. Uh, that's why he's uh, was outstanding in his career, but probably also uh, why he's so difficult to deal with. In the base of that reading, then, is the King of Pentacles. Well, that's the very base. So this tells us that this man... At his core is seeking value always. And it's interesting that we have two kings and two pentacles come up so quickly in this draw. Okay, Thomas Markle. 
It has passed the tower moment. So yeah, there's been, uh, as we said before, uh, various times in his career that have uh, come to a point where they needed uh, resuscitation or repair, and that's in the past. And the sky of this reading is the magician. Wonderful, because this tells us this man has everything at his disposal uh, to make a thing happen. He's got all the tools that the magician needs, but whether he uses them wisely, well, that's another story. And they didn't draw enough cards. How silly. So the final outcome for the last part of this, then, is the Knight of Cups, and again, another knight, compassion. So along with fighting for his value, he's fighting for his compassion. And that's what's going on for emotional value, actually. So that's what's going on right there. So let's uh, I'll try to move all this over a bit in my little space so that we can uh, continue with this reading. And again, sorry, this is uh, such a small space. Um, the um, very uh, signifier of that question, what's going on with Thomas Markle? Again, familial value. That's at the very core. So he's looking to uh, establish some sort of familial value. Doesn't mean that he has or that he will, but that's been his goal. And so that's probably been his downfall. But in the environment of what? In the environment of and reversed. I don't like reverse cards. Reverse cards are difficult for me to read. But this one, I uh, because it comes up, I'll have to do that. If it were this way, this is the lover's card. It's a, a good uh, way through the fool's journey. You know, about a third of the way there, perhaps. And uh, this would tell you finding the perfect pairing. But for Thomas Markle, it's in reverse. And so that has just eluded him. Finding the perfect match in his personal life that helps him to make sense of it uh, is what's been uh, elusive for him. And that's the environment that this question is in. Then the, um, you know what I'm doing is I'm, I think I'm picking up these cards upside down because I've, I've uh, stacked them incorrectly. Okay. So the uh, hopes and the fears for this then, for Thomas Markle, uh, building something together for common value. By the way, the fact that I had to deal with these cards in the middle of this reading, I always feel like everything that happens during a reading happens for a reason, and I just go with the flow. So here we have um, uh, value. These are the pentacles, three of pentacles. Uh, these are consultants working together for value. He, that's been very successful in his career. It hasn't worked so well in his personal life. So that's the hopes and the fears. And then the final outcome for Thomas Markle is right here judgment well of course it is you know being judged for what you've done well what you have done poorly but that's uh where he's at he's at a stage in his life he just had a stroke and i think judgment is coming now to pass uh, for thomas markle before he goes on i, th I believe we, we try to clean up our karma in this uh life uh before we uh, go on to eternity so let's to read uh one more time quickly the signifier card of this whole reading is the king of wands really being the king in charge of your plans making things happen but what was his challenge his challenge was the knight of pentacles which is the fighter trying to fight for his value okay probably caused a few uh, uh broken noses along the way the base of the reading with this king of pentacles tells you that he's always had the potentiality for a uh, strong value being the king of, uh, of of pentacles but then in the past with his tarot cards he's are constantly leaving a trail of disasters that have to be repaired. In the sky, this uh, reading with the magician just tells us that he always had all the tools he needed to make a thing happen. Whether he used them appropriately is uh, one qu another question. And then the likely outcome for the first part of this reading with this King of Cups is that compassion, emotion, that very turbulent uh, night, uh, really fighting for that uh, compassion or that passion, and uh, that's what led him in so much trouble. Then the of the question, the signifier of that question is familial value. That's what he's tried to establish. And although he's been very good at making money, he hasn't been good at um, establishing some sort of a base for his family. And the um, environment that's been in is the lovers in reverse. So not being able to find that perfect personal pairing in his life. The uh, hopes of the fears for that is this Three of Pentacles, where you're building something together for, for public display. He's, it's worked well with his career, hasn't worked that well uh, in his personal life. And then the final outcome for the whole thing is judgment. And we're all going through that. We hope that we're making the right choices so that we're judged appropriately, um, but that uh, we will be judged uh, honestly. And that's what you can count on. And that's what I got for Thomas Markle. Let me know what you think. So what do you think? Does that make sense? Does it make sense to you? Do you read the card the same way I do? Because I don't always agree with what I say. So let me know what you think. Make a comment. Is she a saint? Is she up there uh, watching over uh, everything? Um, what do you think? Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go. So stop on by. Ciao for now.
You really make a big difference. Thank you.